Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you guys how to get higher FPS in Apex and this could work on other games too. Um, some of the software I'm going to be showing you guys is going to help you with Apex, Fortnite, whatever game. It's going to reduce GPU and CPU power and yeah, let's get into it. Uh, the first one is actually something maybe a lot of you have already done. But if you haven't, you should do this and guys just hold up. If you have done this, I'm not, this is not like the only thing I'm showing you. There's going to be many more. So once you go here, you, uh, you might not see apex here, but you just gonna have to press browse and then just, uh, find your apex. So I would have to go. Okay, guys. Um, so you're going to have to go to your, um, wherever you have your steam so mine is at my e drive so you would go to steam library then steam maps common and then you would look for apex legends and then you would choose r5 apex this is the one you should be choosing you press add and then it should pop up uh pop up right here and you just press options and put it to high performance save and now we'll be going to the next step. So this is the next thing we're going to be using. Uh, Rivet Tuner Statistics. This is only if you have problems with your Apex Freezing. And yeah, it's very easy to use. So you're just going to want to scroll down all the way down until you see download version 7.3.3. Click on that. And then you just wait here. And then a da your download thing should pop up in a few seconds. If it doesn't, you could just click here. And then it should pop up. And once you got that, it's, you should open, you have to, um, go through the installation. Once you get that, you just go through the installation as normal. And then should see this somewhere like in your, over here. Tuner, whoops. I would, I would run it as administrator. I don't think it matters after that. And then you wait a little bit. Just wait for that circle thing to go away. Put the right click here. Press show. And then here you go. You have Rivet Tuner Statistic Server. So copy these settings down. You would have to, you want to put this to low. Turn this off have that off if it shows up and then frame limit just put what you think would be good like i have mine 140 you could try 120 it depends on um how much you usually run i would rather you skip this and go to the other settings and stuff and then come back here so you could find out what fps you have but once you figure that out you could just put that there and then you put this to zero you on vector 3d viewpoint on off this. I think it should already be at like that. Have like that off and yeah, pretty sure that's it. You don't have to, don't, don't press the X button just press my, the minus button, I guess. And then it'll go to your tray here. The next thing you can do is download this app called Process Lasso. It's it's like a task manager. It's actually like the task manager, but it's way better. More things you could do. You you would see all this stuff. Um you just have to go to active processes. You can see my process you processor use is like two percent. That's good. I already had my settings in though. But you should see like a whole lo a whole lot of stuff here opened, like a uh, wallpaper, voice meter, and you could change it. So audio, EG, uh, I have mine. If you want to set it, you go to CPU priority, always, and then you could do high. I I prefer you put audio to high because you know if you if you put it on low, it might like crackle or something like that. Then you could also do um affinity always yeah select cpu zero or you could do 
that just to make sure. Okay. Yeah. But for other things like um let's say Discord, if you have Discord open up, uh if you want you could put that to like normal or below normal or above normal, whatever you want. Like uh I don't have it open right now, but I'm just gonna use taskbar X as an example. Get to it. So I would go to CPU priority always and then I would put either normal, below normal, just one of those two if you'd want. This will help like just reduce processor use and just like focus it on what you want. And if you'd want, you could have your apex opened, do the exact same thing. You can go to this CPU priority always, put it to high. Then once you do that, you can go to CPU affinity always, select CPU affinity, select CPU zero to four, and then your game will be running faster or it will be the main process, I guess I should say. So you would go to general, then refresh interval GUI, and then you press, you, you make sure it's at one S. I already had mine as that, but if you don't have it, change it to that. And then you would go to uh, power and performance mode, select power profile, and then choose ultimate performance, press OK. Another thing you can do, uh, sorry, this is like so out of order because I just forgot how to do everything. I had to like look through all my settings. Uh, once you open up your game, you should see like R5 Apex or Apex. And then you would also go to IO priority always high. And you would also put. I already forget. Oh, induce performance mode. Yeah. Put induce performance mode. That should be it for uh, process lasso. And the next and final thing for softwares to download, you should definitely get MSI Afterburner. Basically what this is, it's like a software that like overclocks your GPU. So you guys might have heard that it like damaged the GPU or something like that. But... I'll show you guys how to do it. So once you download MSI Afterburner, you just open it and yours might not look like mine, but um, it's because I have like a certain style on. So if you want to change it, you can just go to user interface, um, this, and you can choose whatever skin you want, that, this, anything you want, anything that's here at least. But I personally like the cyborg one. So first thing you're going to want to do, well, this is not going to be the same. So don't copy me. You might have a better GPU than me. You might have a little older GPU than me. But for me, GTX 1070, what I did was I put power limit all the way up. If you have a GTX 1070 and higher, I'm pretty sure you can put these two all the way up. Then core clocking 100, memory clock. Test this out and see if your games are okay. Don't go all the way here. Like just do it slowly. Like go to 140, maybe 160. I think mine was able to go to 160, but something happened. I think my game kept crashing. So yeah, you're just gonna want to be careful with this. If you want a more in-depth uh, guide, I'd suggest like looking it up. You could find a bunch of people can help you with that you can just type in how clock and then you can find all these guides here now we're getting to like the kind of like in the game settings so what you want to what you're going to want to do first is go to save type in saved games Go here, go to respawn, apex, profile, oh wait, whoops, local, local, and then you have video config, and that's what you're going to want to worry about, mainly just this one. Click on it, well, actually before you do anything, you're going to want to go to properties and make sure read only is off so you can make changes. So you're going to want to click on it, and then you'll see all these settings, don't worry, you're not going to have to type it out. Uh, I'm going to put this in the description, copy and paste it. You should already have a video config here, 
So all you're gonna want to do is open it, delete everything, go to the very top, copy the thing, all this from the description, and then paste it onto here. And one thing you're gonna want to change before you put this is these two. This is your like resolution. You you have to change this to whatever your monitor resolution is. I put mine to 1750 by 1080 because that's stretched and I like that. And yeah. So once you do that, you can press Control S or you can press X and it will like say save. And yeah. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to. Once you're on Steam, you're going to want to go to library. Whoops. Apex, right click, properties, local files, and browse. Then you're going to want to go to CFG. You're just going to want to click, just right click, new text document, and then you're going to want to name it auto exec. Uh, yeah, I already have one though, so I'm just gonna make sure this is not the one I'm deleting. Okay, get that. Then I have so many. Hold up, sorry guys. Let me just. Then you just wanna right click on it. You shouldn't have anything here because you just made it. Uh, same thing with here. I'm gonna put this all in the description. Yeah, you could just copy and paste it. Put it down. A lot of stuff. Yeah, so you're gonna want to do press X or before you press X. Sorry. Uh, well, if once you do this, you can just press Control S to save, or you can press X, and it'll say save, don't save, cancel. You're gonna want to press save. That's if you want to just press this. Once you got that, you close out of there, and then there's one last step. You're gonna want to do plus exec auto exec. And yeah, I'll put this in the description. Uh, you can, I'm, I might put this whole thing in. If you want to copy it, this is just for the exec full screen. This will like, um, make it so no sync or whatever. And then you could put like your FPS so it can cap it. Um, this is so like it skips the apex intro. Like, so whenever you load in, it's like a season, like the battle uh, thing, it'll skip that. Uh, and this, this is so like it'll show you the velocity you're going and stuff like that. And you're just going to press X and then go to Apex. Okay, now once you're on Apex, you're going to want to go to your settings, go to video, and you know, have it on full screen, your thing, and then 17, like whatever resolution you have. Um, uh, yeah, and then for this. That's weird. I don't know why. Ah, dang it! My change, my settings were changed. So you want to go to disabled, enabled plus boost. And we'll go none. Maybe very low. That low, low, disabled, disabled, low, and then yeah, that should be good. Then you press apply. And you're done. You should have higher FPS now. Uh, personally, for me, when I did this, I before I did this actually, I had like 60, maybe sometimes 80, 70 ping. I mean FPS, and my game would freeze a lot. And but after I did all this, I went from like 120. Yeah, I went to like 120 FPS. And then when I did the MSI Afterburner, I got 20 extra frames. I could probably go higher. I will try again and I'll do like a short little update on it if I can get higher FPS with that. But I have no point because my monitor is only 120. But yeah, then after MSI, I got 140. And you can see, getting 139. 139. Well, it's close to 140. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.